Hello, I'm Morgan Allison, Application Engineer for Tektronix. Today I'll be talking about saving and recalling data in real-time spectrum analyzers. I'll be using SignalView PC and an RSA 507A to demonstrate. Some of the principles covered are common to other vector signal analysis platforms, but many features are unique to Tektronix solutions. An incredibly useful feature in SignalView PC is the ability to save your captured data for later analysis. Imagine you've acquired a problematic signal, made some measurements on it, saved your resulting data, and then went home for the weekend. Then you come back on Monday and think of another measurement that could be useful to your project. Since SignalView PC lets you save the underlying data used to make measurements, you can recall it configure a new measurement, and replay the data to get new results without having to reacquire the signal. There are two main methods to save data in SignalView PC. Blocks of IQ data, as .tiq files, and contiguous streaming IF data, which are .r3f files. The most common use case is saving blocks of IQ data. Normal operating procedure for SignalView PC and really virtually every other measurement system with an A to D converter and capture memory is to acquire a seamless block of data and then stop acquiring to process and display that data based on measurement configuration and then repeat the process. This means that there are gaps between each acquisition or block of data in every vector signal analyzer on the market. This is not necessarily a bad thing, just a physical limitation of the technology used in the industry today. SignalView PC automatically stores each of these acquisitions in memory, and you can save some or all of them along with measurement settings to a single file. SignalView PC also allows the streaming of contiguous IF data to a file. This use case captures a single long record of contiguous raw A to D converter samples. No measurements or corrections are made on this data. If you need to capture seamless data for a long period of time, this is the way to go. SignalView PC has a playback feature that reads in the streamed data file as if it was coming from an RSA and allows you to make measurements on it as if it was newly acquired. Let's save blocks of IQ data first. For this example, the content of the signal doesn't really matter all that much so we'll capture some signals in the ISM band. I'll set my center frequency to 2.412 GHz, set my reference level to minus 20 dBm, I'll leave my span at 40 MHz, and I'll set up a minus 30 dBm power level trigger. I'll acquire some new data and then save it. To save, click on the Save icon, which brings up a system dialog box. You can select the file format in the drop-down menu. The most useful file format is the .tiq file, which is the native file format for SignalView PC and includes both acquisition data and all measurement and display settings. I'll name my file and then save it as a .tiq. A file contents box pops up and lets you change save options. The most common adjustment is changing from saving the current acquisition to saving all in history, which I will select. After I save this file, I can then recall it into SignalView PC. To demonstrate recalling all settings and displays, I'll preset before loading the file. To load, I click the Recall icon, select my file, and click Open. A pop-up will display asking if I want to recall the data and setup, or just the data. In this case, I want to recall the settings as well as the data, so I'll just leave it as is. And now all of my displays pop up with the settings I had configured when I saved the file. I can now make changes and replay the data to make new measurements, or I can continue acquiring new data. Since I chose to save all in history, there is more than one block of data that I can look at in this file. If I open up the Replay toolbar, I have a set of DVR or VCR-like controls that make it easy to select which record I want to look at, and the toolbar shows me how many acquisitions I've recalled from this file, and the timestamp of the active acquisition. To save contiguous streaming data as a .r3f file, 
I click on the recording icon. I'll choose my location and set my base file name and then switch to the record tab. I can configure my recording to begin when I click a button or I can have it begin when a trigger occurs. I can also configure my recording to end when I click the button or I can set a timer that will automatically stop the recording when it reaches a certain length. I can also set the number of files per run if I want to make multiple recordings back to back. Once you've made these decisions, you can just click Start. To play back the saved data, switch over to the Playback tab, click on the three dots, select ADC Sample Data in the drop-down menu, browse to your recorded .r3f file, and click Open. You can play the file back at a live rate, meaning SignalView PC will treat the data in the file as if it was coming from a real instrument processing as much as it can and skipping some data. Alternatively, you can play the data back at a non-live rate, meaning that SignalView PC will pause the flow of data from the file while it processes data, resulting in the analysis of every single sample in the file. It takes much longer to play back a given data file this way, but it ensures that you don't miss a single sample. For those who want to do their own DSP on IQ data, you can save the acquisition data in a .mat or .csv file, and these files include basic settings like center frequency, reference level, and sample rate. It's often handy to have the replay toolbar open during normal operation. You can open this by going to the View menu and selecting Replay Toolbar. You can also export only the measurements of the currently selected display in a CSV file. In the Save dialog box drop-down menu, select Results Export. Note that these files cannot be recalled into SignalView PC because they only contain measurement data, not underlying IQ data. This video explained the file formats and the methods of saving and recalling data in SignalView PC. Thanks for watching!